He was the first black president of South Africa. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be taking a look at the life and accomplishments of Nelson Mandela. Born July 18, 1918, in a South African village, Nelson Mandela was first in his family to attend school. A talented student who showed rebellious tendencies early on, he was expelled from university for his involvement in a boycott against the institution. It was expected Mandela would become chief of his tribe like his father, but instead he chose to study law. It is absolutely important that you have the knowledge to serve your country and your people. By 1944, Mandela joined the African National Congress, or ANC. This left-wing political party wished to give equal rights and freedoms to the entire country. Within the party, Mandela was part of a group that formed the ANC Youth League, and this offshoot used grassroots methods to get their point across, including boycotts, strikes, and general civil disobedience. That the task of the ANC was to unite the African people and out of them build a nation. In 1948, the National Party was elected to government, and following that, it instituted a legal system of racial segregation called apartheid. Meanwhile, Mandela and the ANCYL continued their nonviolent protests against racist policies. For example, Mandela was instrumental in 1952's defiance campaign, as well as 1955's Congress of the People. He also served as a lawyer for mistreated black South Africans by opening the country's first black law practice. Mandela was quickly becoming an enemy of the government, and he was targeted whenever possible. At the end of 1956, Mandela and a group of about 150 protesters were arrested on the suspicion of treason because of their advocacy. After a long trial, the group was acquitted. It was around this time that a group of militant Africans began suggesting that the peaceful approach was not working. This group formed the Pan-Africanist Congress in 1959. Soon after, Mandela changed his position and proposed that armed conflict was the only way to end apartheid rule. It is useless and futile for us to continue talking peace and non-violence against a government whose reply is only savage attacks. He helped found a military offshoot of the ANC called Nkonto We Sizwe, and this group specialized in sabotage and guerrilla warfare. Not long after, on August 5, 1962, Mandela was arrested for a strike he had organized the previous year. He was sentenced to five years in prison, however, he ended up spending his next 27 years in jail. While serving his five-year sentence, Mandela was also charged with sabotage, treason, and violent conspiracy during the infamous Rivonia trial. He was sentenced to life in prison and barely escaped the death penalty. Mandela's first years were spent in a prison on Robben Island, but he was transferred in 1982. He was treated poorly as a black prisoner, however he did manage to earn a Bachelor of Laws degree through a correspondence program. During this time, Mandela's profile grew and he became an international symbol of anti-apartheid resistance. On more than one occasion, the government offered Mandela his freedom in exchange for the abandonment of his beliefs. Each time, he refused. After much negotiation, Mandela was finally released on February 11, 1990, at the age of 72 by the country's new president. I wish to put it plainly that the government has taken a firm decision to release Mr. Mandela unconditionally. Mandela then became president of the African National Congress and helped negotiate the end of apartheid laws. On June 17, 1991, the Population Registration Act was repealed, which meant that racial groups were no longer legally separated. This marked the beginning of the end of apartheid rule in South Africa. The country held its first democratic elections on April 27, 1994, with the ANC taking 62% of the vote. On May 10, 1994, Nelson Mandela was sworn in as the first black president of South Africa. He spent his term rebuilding the economy and uniting the country. He even used the country's national rugby team as a rallying point for all citizens and as a way to bring the country onto the world stage in a positive light. When his term ended in 1999, Mandela retired from active politics. Despite leaving public life in 2004, Mandela convened a group of world leaders called the Elders in 2007. With figures like Desmond Tutu, Jimmy Carter, and Kofi Annan, the group aimed to resolve world problems like poverty, AIDS, and climate change. 
Among his many honors, he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1993. Even after leaving public life, Nelson Mandela is one man who continued his lifelong crusade for a better world.